Right now, decorations with words and phrases are super popular. And our favorite Kansas City crafty crafter, Leanne Lee from Rekindled Spaces, she's back to show us how to make subway art. So welcome back. Wow, two times in one show. Thank Lucky you. us. Okay. Thank you. Subway art. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know what subway art is. So sh tell me everything. Go. Okay. Subway art, real quick, just the lowdown. It is words, um, different types of fonts, just to make a sign with your favorite quotes. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And I just want to jump right in. Okay, so do it. What we're going to do is we're taking a blank canvas. I got these at Michael's Craft Store. Okay. I'm going to take some craft paint. What we're going to do for this one is just put some different colors on. We've got a melon color. Ooh, look at that pretty blue. A blue. So far, I'm liking all the colors come out. I know, That's right? For sure. Some green. All right. So what we're going to do, I mean, we're going to do it obviously a little nicer than that, but what we end up with then is this background. So oh, we've so, got, okay. So what we're doing is we're creating our background for our art. So then I'm just taking some repositionable vinyl letters. You can get those at the craft store too. All right. And we're spelling out B U to full. To full. Okay. So I gotcha. So we're just going to start putting the letters on. Now you can take a tape measure and make these perfect, but I like to do them more haphazard. Yeah. It's just, it, it's, yeah. it's artsy. And it's easier. Yeah. Now, anything special we need to know about these letters at all? Well, they're repositionable. Oh, nice. And so you can pull them off, reuse them. You can see some of them are different colors. That's because I've already been using them over and over and over. <laughs> <laughs> so once I get the letters on how I want them, then I'm going to take a color. I'm okay. taking this green. You can see I've already done this before. All right. And then I'm going to start painting over the entire picture. Look at that. Yeah. So once I get the entire you can see where I'm going here. Yes, I'm painting see, the yes. entire thing green. Gotcha. And then this is what we end up with. Oh, look. So we've got some of the orange, the blue, the beautiful, and then the... I be beautiful. I thought that was perfect for you, Michael. It, oh. Isn't that sweet? You're sweet. Now, what is the price point on this? I mean, it doesn't look that expensive. You know, this cost about $7 to make. Wow. Now, and that is for the initial investment, because you can reuse the letters right, right. over and over. Canvases, Michael's right now, I actually just bought these. You could buy a twin pack for $5 okay. for the canvases. So not very expensive at all. So, um, now, what were you saying? You, you had one here. I, I want to show this. Now, yes. they don't all come out exactly perfect, and that's okay. This one, I did this one. I started, I thought this was a really good idea to put scrapbook paper on the canvas first. Right. What I found out was I decoupaged it on, resealed it. What I found out, though, is when I put the letters on and then added the paint over the top, it lifted the craft or the scrapbook paper a little bit. So it's a little wrinkled. So, you know, what I'd say is if you want it to be perfect, I'd stick with the paints. If you're okay with a little bit of imperfection. You can't really tell. I mean, no, but that's the perfectionist in you. I know, But I right? still love it. I love it. And the thing is, if you're going to do it this way, I'd go ahead and crinkle up the paper okay. first so that it's like meant to be wrinkled <laughs> as opposed to one little section being wrinkled. So not everything turns out. But Now, you do, uh, you're known for your craft crafterness but you also reuse a lot of things that's kind of your whole thing any it of this is. that we can reuse obviously the letters can reuse the letters um, you know canvases if you mess them up you could still repaint them and reuse them there you go you know the thing is everybody always asks me after I leave these shows do I have a store I don't have a store I actually do this in people's homes so I'm in the business of breathing new life into people's homes in an affordable environmentally friendly way so it could be cabinets, it could be walls, you know. I love the color schemata. Always Thank a pleasure you. to have you twice in one day. Thank we're so spoiled. You. So if you want to tackle this project at home, we're going to have step-by-step -step instructions that you need on our website, kclive.tv, later this afternoon. Thank you, dear. Let's Thank see who you. Michelle has in the studio.